Hey there, my fellow intellectuals. How are you doing today? Kyle here with another video. And today what I want to talk to you about is the topic of books. Now, as some of you may know, I'm a really big fan of physics and astronomy textbooks. I tend to buy quite a bit more than I can read at any one time, but I just keep doing it because I really just love having this body of knowledge with me on hand. And I want to talk about the textbooks for galactic formation and evolution, as well as the dynamics of galaxies. Now, what does that all mean? That's essentially the topic of how do galaxies form? How did they come about? How do galaxies interact like the two merging galaxies that you can see behind me? So these are the antennae galaxies. And understanding the physics that goes on between um, galaxies and, and the constituent parts within them is... Um, a topic that has been dominated by a few textbooks over the past few decades. So the two textbooks that I have in mind that I've used quite a bit since I've started doing research in this area is Galactic Astronomy, or are Galactic Astronomy by James Binney and Michael Merrifield, and J uh, Galactic Dynamics by James Binney and Scott Tremaine. And so these two textbooks have really been the two Bibles of the field. Um, Galactic Astronomy here being the observation on observational side of things, so focusing a lot on actual observations and data, whereas Galactic Dynamics has been very much more of the theoretical side of things. And the two together have been sort of the two books that have dominated the galactic or the galaxy formation evolution field for 20 plus years. Now, both of them are getting a little bit out of date. Benny and Tremaine came out in 2008 and Benny and Merrifield came out in 1998. So they are on the older side and it just seemed time for a new book to come about and i'm happy to announce that that is exactly what is happening so i'm going to go here to my web page browser we can see here this online textbook dynamics and astrophysics of galaxies by joe bovey now for those of you who don't know joe bovey is the canada research chair in galactic astrophysics in, at the University of Toronto. And he is the main developer of GalPy, which is this uh, documented Python library for galactic dynamics. I've used it a few times in my own research. It's super, super useful. And he is making this online textbook that is interactive where we can read about the theory, sort of the, the same sort of material that we see in Binny and Merrifield and Binny and Tremaine, but we'll also have online interactive examples to help drive the points home. So I'm going to actually click on a uh, chapter here. Let's go like introduction, for example. And I'm going to move myself so you can see this. But you can see here that there is this make interactive button, and which if I click, I believe will launch the different Python kernels that we can run code on. And so we can understand the, the physics that's going on, but also see it applied in this Python code. So I'm going to move myself back now because I'm launching the kernel. It'll tell me when it's done. And you can also take a look at the different contents of the book right here. The first three parts, I believe, are done. He hasn't finished the fourth part, which is galaxy formation evolution, which includes um, formation of dark matter halos, numerical methods, which is all very, very relevant to research today. But I'm just super stoked for a book like this to come out because I'm still in grad school. You know, this is still going to be super useful. Dynamics is a very, very big and interesting topic that... I think would mesh well with my research because since I do gas dynamics, I focus more on the gas as opposed to the stars, but gas and star um, based black hole mass measurements have shown to disagree over time. And I think getting to know more of the stellar dynamics slash galactic dynamics methods uh, is incredibly important in my own development as a scientist. And so I'm just absolutely stoked to see a book like this hit the market. And from what I can tell so far, I mean, the pictures look great. Uh, I haven't seen any kernels yet, but it looks... All oh, here's some kernels. So here's a um, some Python code that we're still waiting on. Apparently, it takes a while to load. Um, but I am really hyped because, to be honest, both those books, Binny and Merrifield and Binny and Tremaine, are, they're very dense and they're uh, a bit difficult to wrap your head around and really learn from because they're more of reference books as opposed to textbooks that you try and learn something for the first time and so i'm very very happy to see a book like this hit the market looks like it's taking a while for some of this stuff to load so i'm just going to go ahead and pick a uh, a different chapter let's do chapter nine the kinematics and dynamics of galactic rotation my research is more small scale rotating gas discs so while these are on the scales of entire galaxies i'm usually looking at discs 
gas disks that are rotating very close to the center of the galaxy in orbit around a supermassive black hole. But all of this stuff is actually very, very, very related to what I do in my own research. I mean, this is a rotation curve. I generate plots like this in my own um, research. These are sort of spider diagrams showing the velocity fields of rotating um, disk galaxies. And again, this is all stuff that is uh, pertinent to what I do. So if you're very interested in my own research and sort of what goes into to, to really breaking the stuff down and knowing what's going on, I think this chapter will be very, very helpful for that purpose. I'm going to click the Make Interactive button on the bottom corner here, and we're going to take a look at some of the kernels. So here are, here, these are what H alpha velocity fields, which show the... Um, the velocities of the H of the H alpha emission across the different disks here, and um, oh, th this is um, this is oh yeah, velocity fields of asymmetric disk galaxies. Again, this has actually been transformed into code in my own research. So I, I I use these formulas in my own research. It's really cool to see this all broken down and have all these different examples. And um, here is uh, a kernel Python kernel that I'm waiting for. And I'm still waiting for, I think I'll just scroll down and just read a little bit more. Um, but I'm not going to go through this whole book just because it would take too long. But I think it's it's super awesome to see a book like this um, just coming out soon. And I definitely, I think we'll get a physical copy when it's when it's released. Because this is, <laughs> I'm getting excited just reading this. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, I'm getting so hyped looking at this. So it looks like the kernel is loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit run here. So I think we'll have to wait a little bit. Aha. Okay, so I just ran a different cell in chapter 8, and what it produced was this plot. I guess it's comparing a shell versus a ring for for a mass distribution. And this is just super cool. I mean, this is just... I mean, I wish all textbooks could be like this. If this is the direction that textbooks are going in, I'm so for it. I'm looking forward to this one coming out. I'm looking forward to use this more in my own research when I need to reference things. And... I think that's all I really have to say about this. I mean, this is just, there's just too much to go through for one video. But if you're really interested, definitely check out galaxiesbook.org to learn the material yourself if you're really interested in galactic dynamics. I hope you found this video useful and insightful as to you know, how important a book like this is to the field. And I hope you will come back for more videos relating to physics, astrophysics, astronomy, and just my life as a PhD student in physics. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you next time. Have a good day, everyone.